welcome guys for our new topic for today. It's all about fraction. We will discuss the definition, kinds of fraction, and converting fraction. Fraction represents a part of a whole. These are the following examples of our fraction. We have 3 fourth, 1 half, and 1 fourth. Let's proceed to the parts of fraction. We have here example 1 fourth. 1 represents our numerator in the lower part, 4 represents our denominator, and in the middle or middle line represents our fraction bar. Next, kinds of fraction. We have proper fraction, improper fraction, unit fraction, mixed fraction, similar fraction, dissimilar fraction. First, proper fraction. Proper fraction, the numerator is always lesser than the denominator. So we have here one fourth. So as I've said, the definition of proper fraction is always the numerator is lesser than our denominator. Okay, one represents our numerator, which is lesser in our denominator. Improper fraction. The numerator is always greater than the denominator. Okay, we have example 9, 4. Numerator is always greater than our denominator. Unit fraction. All fraction that has a numerator that is always equal to 1. For example, 1 8, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, 1 sixteenth, 1 thirty. All fraction that has a numerator of 1. Mixed fraction. A whole number and a fraction combined into one mixed number. That's why we call it a mix because it's a combination of a whole number and a fraction. We have a 2 and 4 fifth. 2 represents our whole number. 4 fifth represents our fraction. Next, similar fraction. Set of fraction with similar denominators. Okay, it consists of more than one fractions with similar denominators. We have 5, 7, 2, 7, 4, 7, 1. As you can see, all the denominators are all the same. That's why we call it as a similar fraction. Next, the similar fraction from the word itself, the similar set of fraction with different denominators. We have 5 eighths, 2 sevenths, 4 fifths, 1 thirds. Okay. All denominators are not alike. We have 8, 7, 5, 3. Next, converting fraction. Improper fraction convert into mixed fraction. We have 9 fourth convert into mix. As you can see, I already copied the denominator 4 so that we can focus on our whole number and our numerator. In this side, we will put our possible quotient. In the upper part, we will put our remainder. So, in order to get our possible quotient and remainder, we will divide 9 by 4. So, let's divide. 9 divided by 4. So, we can get 2. 2 times 4, we can get the 8. Subtracted by 8. 9 minus 8, we can get the 1. Then, no more possible number to be. bring down then one automatically represents our remainder so we have quotient of two and remainder of one then we will put it in our boxes possible quotient two and our remainder one okay let's practice we have 11 5 convert into mix 
So, copy the denominator 5. So, we can focus on our whole number and numerator. Then, divide 11 by 5. So, 11 divided by 5, we can get the 2. 2 times 5, we can get the 10. Then, subtract it. 11 minus 10, we can get the 1. Then, no more numbers to be bring down so one automatically automatically represents our remainder so we can get the quotient of two and remainder of one okay let's put in the boxes the possible quotient and remainder two and one okay so we have three halves we have three example of fraction you can practice you can pause this video to answer the following fraction that will convert it into mixed fraction and resume the video to check your answers. So 3 halves, let's divide 3, divide 2, we can get the 1 and remainder of 1, so we can get the 3, wait, no, we can get the 1 and 1 half. Next, let's divide 7, divide by 4. We can get the 1 and remainder of 3. So we can get the 1 and 3 fourth. Then 19 divide 8. So let's divide 19 divide by 8. So we can get the 2 and a remainder of 3. And let's proceed to mix fraction and improper fraction. This is more much easier compared to improper to mix because we will only use two operations to get the answer. So, I have a tip in converting mix into improper. Just use the MAD method. MAD represents the multiply, add, and denominator. We have here five halves convert into improper. So, for less convenient for you, you should automatically copy the 3 so we can focus on our numerator. So, in order to get the numerator, we will use the MAD method, which is first is the multiply. So, let's multiply 5 by 5 and 3. So, 5 times 3, we can get the answer of 15. Then, the next method is add. So, let's add the answer 15. Okay, we will add the 5. We add the answer in our 5 times 3, 2. 5 plus 2, our 2. Five, 15 plus 2 is equal to 17. So, 17 is our numerator. Let's put in the box. Okay, we have three examples that you can use to practice your knowledge about converting mixed fraction into improper fraction. Again, you can pause this video to answer the following fraction and resume the video to check your answer. So, just remember again, our method, MAD method, multiply and add. So, copy the denominator 7. So, 7 times 1, we can get the 7. MAD method, so multiply the 1 times 7, so the answer of 1 times 7 directly add to our numerator 4, so 1 times 7, we can get 7 added by to our 4, so 7 plus 4, we can get, we can get 11, so 1 and 4, 7 converted into improper fraction, we can get the 11 over 7 so let's check okay we have 11 over 7 okay use it again to the remaining example 1 and 7 8 we can get 15 over 8 then 2 and 2 7 we can get 16 over 7 I hope you learned something in our video and try to practice the some ways on converting fraction.